Hello everybody, welcome back to Truth Be Told. I am beyond excited to have another opportunity to share the goodness and the faithfulness of God with you today. As I uh, dive into the word and I spend time, God just starts to reveal things and it's amazing as you read and reread certain chapters, what you see differently and how he talks to you, man. I'm telling you that this is the best thing that you can ever do for yourself and for your family, for your life, is to get to know the word and then to stand on it. Forget about it. You know, I'm telling you, it'll change everything in your life. So I pray that you become diligent and that you understand that this is the most important thing that you can do for yourself and for the people around you. It, it'll just really transform everything in your life. And I pray that you get to it today in Jesus' name. I pray that your eyes and ears are open to receive the truth of God today in Jesus' name. That God would speak through me today and that you would be receptive to hear and to let it fall on fertile ground to bear much fruit for the kingdom of God. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, it's amazing to me how when you read and reread certain scriptures, certain books. I was reading John again. Uh, today and last night I was watching a sermon by Bill Johnson by Bethel Church and it's just amazing how the message that I heard last night and then this morning I just decided to read John and how it combined and how I saw something totally different I'm gonna try to break it down for you so um uh, Bill was talking about the power and authority right and the manifestation of God's power in believers life now what does that even look like I'm here to tell you man how Jesus came to earth right he came to the earth with authority because he came with an assignment Right. Among many, his primary assignment was to reveal the father to to the world and to destroy the works of the evil one. Right. So he came with an assignment. He came with authority, with a command that God sent him forth. Right. So when you're in submission to the primary mission, you are authorized to be commissioned. This is what I'm saying. When you're walking in the purpose that God created you for and you're on, on and you're submitted to his assignment in your life, let me tell you that has power, that has authority. You come with authority in the command of God Almighty, the creator of the universe. I'm telling you, this is exciting to me, right? So when you're in submission to the primary mission, you're authorized to be commissioned, right? Under God's authority, it's his command, like what I said. So when we embrace what God values and what God wants us to do, listen to me, okay? Our yes to him and to our assignment measures, hold on to your seat, measures the realm of authority that we walk in. Woo! Did you hear what I said? Okay, the power in our lives introduces people to the superior nature of an unseen world, of a God they can't see. Listen to me. The way you choose to live your life will introduce people to Jesus. This is, I'm telling you, man, and, and you don't understand, when you come with the authority and the command, and then this brings me back to John, as I was reading John, right? It says that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word, he existed outside of time. We all know this, right? But what I find interesting is when he, uh, Jesus came to us on assignment with authority, but he got his power when he got baptized. Listen to me very carefully. It's in Matthew and in Mark, right? It says that when he was baptized in water, when John baptized him, right, the heavens opened up and the dove came down and the Holy Spirit came upon him and he got his power. Listen to me. Just like we get our power with the Holy Spirit, that is where our power comes from, right? But this is what I love. Immediately in Mark, he was taken into the wilderness. Listen to me. To question. What did the first thing the devil did? was to question his authority. Ooh, did you hear what I said? The devil said, if you truly are the son of God, right away. But I need you to hear this. This is what got me, because we know this, right? He came to question and Jesus said, it is written that man should not live by bread. Wait, Satan, let me go back. Satan says, if you really be the son of God, listen to what he said. He didn't say, turn the stone into bread. He said, command the stone to turn into bread. Oh, command. I need you to hear this. I'm going somewhere with this. Command to speak, right? God, in the beginning, right? God spoke. I said, let there be like he spoke. And this is why I'm trying to get back to the words, God, that we speak, okay? So, and Jesus, of course, responded, it is written, honey, that man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So I'm, I'm going to bring it back to our words, guys. When we do not align our words with what God says, we are actually giving... Um, authority. We're giving him legal authority. We're giving Satan legal authority to kill, steal, and destroy us. Okay. 
You got you to remember this, guys. And also in John, the, the chapter of John also describes Satan's purpose. He's a thief. In John 10, 10, he's a thief. He comes to kill, steal, and destroy. That's what he comes for. But Jesus came so we would have life and have it more abundantly, okay? So I pray that you get this in your system and in your spirit and that you download it and you hold on to it. You appropriate it and that you walk in the authority that God has given you. Hallelujah. And that if you are a child of God, you walk in the power also. So start to release it today. Watch what comes out of your mouth. The power of life and death is in your tongue. So speak life, right? Edify and speak the truth of God. Prophesy over people's lives and speak what the word of God says, not what their circumstances say, okay? I'm excited because I'm speaking the word of God today. I love you guys. I am on ooh, truth trail. Hallelujah. And power place. Where are you at? Hallelujah.